Hello everyone. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, run some stats on jump. So the first thing we want to do is open our jump file or our jump program. And again, this is available on most of the computers here at the library, but also it's a free download for you guys off of the UVM software website. So once it's open, you guys want to click new table and we'll create the table here. So just for an example, we're going to um, use the Marigold lab um, as our backdrop. So first we want to do is create a column and this is for our treatment. So let's say our treatments were fertilizer and no fertilizer. So treatment and we'll have 10 plants in each. So we'll have fertilizer. We'll copy and paste this. So I'm just selecting this and holding uh, control C or command C on a Mac and I'm gonna make ten of these and then the other one will be no fertilizer so I can just actually do this and I sh and I'll make ten no fertilizer okay now we need our data so let's say we're measuring um, plant or root biomass so we'll do root mass so I'm just randomly putting uh, data in here Okay, so now that, <clears throat> now that we have our data in, we have our treatments, fertilizer, no fertilizer, and we have our root mass um, here in the second column. So the way we want to analyze this, and we're just doing a basic t-test, which is just testing the variation between two different treatments, fertilizer and no fertilizer. So what we'll do is we come up here, and this is pretty similar for both PC and Mac. Uh, we will click Analyze and we want fit y by x so we're comparing our x variable by our y variable and this will come up and we're, since we're doing a t-test we're looking for a one-way uh, test so we want our y response this will be <clears throat> um, whatever our dependent variable is so you can think about it as a graph your dependent variable is on the y-axis <clears throat> your independent variable is on your x-axis so dependent variable for Y, independent variable or your treatment for X, and then all you do is click OK, and we'll get this here. <clears throat> so um, in addition to doing a t-test, this can also calculate your mean and your standard deviations for you. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, calculate our t-test. So we click this little red arrow here, and we want t-test. So click on that and it produces us or it gives us our t-test so here we have only thing that we're interested in for right now since this is just um, we're just doing a basic experiment or getting basic data is we're looking at the t-ratio so this is what you'll be reporting in your uh, results section is your t-ratio um, it's usually written out as t equals so in this instance it'd be t equals 9.80 and then we want our probability greater than absolute t. So this is giving us our p-value, and this is the uh, number that we compare to our alpha value, which is set at 0 0.05. So these are the only two things we need from here. Our, our p-value, which is right here, the one that has the absolute um, bars around the t and our t-ratio. Okay, so once we have that, now we can also come and uh, calculate our standard deviation and our means. So to do that, we can just click here where it says means and standard deviations, and we get this little table here. So what we're interested in is right here the mean and the standard deviation. So here the mean is 6.9 plus or minus 2.02, .02, and your 
non-fertilizer to mean is 14.7 plus or minus 1.49 uh, grams, let's say. So we're going to be using uh, these two numbers to create our bar chart or column graph to visually represent our data. So we'll go, we'll open up Excel um, in order to do this and um, I'm going to create a different file just so I separate jump and Excel. So make sure you watch the Excel one on how to make the graph of the means but also how to add the standard deviation or your error bars onto your graph. Alright, so that will be part two of this video.